look at a domain of a function. We're going to look at graphs of functions. So think of domain as, you know, what X's are you allowed to use or what are possible inputs for a function? So which X's are being used? So what we'll go ahead, let's, let's take a look here. So here's a graph of a function. And you see at point A and point C, those are not, there's no arrows there. So those points end there. They don't continue in both directions forever. So what we're going to do is look at this and go, okay, so what X's are we doing? And which X's are we using? So you just got to look at it. Like I'm, I drew a, a horizontal picture here, kind of you know, line left to right. And this is basically how wide, if you will, it is. And it gives me the smallest X to the biggest X. This point A is the point negative three, three. Point C is the point five, two. And I'm only looking at the X's when it comes to domain. So the function exists between negative three and five, right? So my domain, I'm going to write it as negative three is less than right, or equal to x, the x is bigger than that, and then, but the x is also smaller than the 5, and it exists in between there, okay? Look at another one. So same thing, draw a picture to left to right, look at the width, right? Look at the smallest x to the biggest x, and the smallest x here is negative 5, and the biggest x is 4. So this function exists between negative 5 and 4, so I would write it like this. Negative 5 is less than or equal to x, right? And x is less than or equal to 4. So you can graph all kinds of different functions, but in the end, you got to look at it just left to right and look at the x value. So point A is going to have my smallest x, and point D is going to have my biggest x. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to draw on a line. I'm going to find, okay, my biggest x is 3, and my smallest x is negative 5. So this particular function's domain, because it goes up or down, but that's not part of the domain, is from negative 5 to 3, and everything in between that. So negative 5 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than or equal to 3. Now, looking at this next one, you notice that this has arrows on the end, and it goes for forever in both directions. So if I was to find, okay, what's the biggest x and the smallest x? Well, for what I can see here is negative 5, but this arrow tells me there's really more points over here. So this really goes forever in both directions. So the domain is all real numbers. I'm going to go forever in both in the x direction. So there is no limit to it. all the numbers out there. So now look at something like this. Okay, so if you look at this one, it's got this one point, then it goes forever this way. It doesn't go to the left at all. It doesn't go over here. So if I was to draw an arrow going this way, we start here and go forever in that direction when I'm thinking about x's. So this comes from negative 2 forever in the positive direction. So the x's that I'm using are all bigger than negative 2. So x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now looking at this one, I have a solid point here and an arrow forever in this direction. So this function kind of looks like it's going this way. Um, it's not totally true, but in terms of looking at it in terms of domain. So we basically go from here this way in terms of the x values. Right, and that's from positive four and forever in this negative direction. So we're going to use x's from negative four and below negative, I'm sorry, below four, sorry. So we get x's less than or equal to four. Okay. 